Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys CAMEL, which is a communicative agent for mind exploration for large scale language models. And basically, it's a communicative agent framework that enables autonomous cooperation amongst chat agents to complete tasks without much human intervention. It also uses inception prompting to guide agents towards tasks completions while maintaining consistency with human intentions and this is something that we'll be checking out throughout today's video and we're also going to be looking at how we can actually use their data agent application in which you can actually give it a specific prompt and it can basically output certain things in certain roles we'll also be giving you a better example as well as analysis as to what they're trying to accomplish so with that thought guys let's get right into the video but before we actually do that please subscribe like the video comment down anything that you want to see in the future as well as check out a lot of my other videos guys i have a lot of content that has been growing growing like really fast and there's a lot of support from you guys which i really really appreciate so thank you so much for watching all the videos guys it really means a lot if you guys haven't seen my video or if this is your first time, there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit upon, whether that's through chat GPT or other large language models. So I highly recommend that you check it out. And if you want to support for the channel, you can definitely do so by clicking this donation link in the description below. But with that thought, let's get right into the video. In the recent weeks, we have seen a lot of chat based language models that have led to remarkable progress, which has something that they emphasized on in basically having ta complex tasks being solved with chat agents but their success as it says in the abstract is heavily relies on human input to guide the conversations which can be challenging and time consuming whereas camel which is another large scale model which is set with agents that can be reliable and autonomously create with create different applications as well as different prompts that can be used to create a larger scale of larger models as well as larger applications without a lot of consistency without any human intentions or interventions and this is something that they've actually tried to focus on as they're getting chat boxes to complete tasks with other chat boxes working together to do so and this is something that they've done with their model and that's something that we're going to be showing you throughout this video now camel can generate large amounts of conversational data that can be used to study the behaviors and capabilities of chat agents which is quite remarkable now the data can be analyzed to understand how agents can actually learn and adapt to new situations which can be very beneficial and provide a lot of insights into the performance of conventional as well as conversational language models now this framework can also be used to develop autonomous cooperative systems for various applications such as customer service obviously sometimes it can be used for a virtual assistant for different businesses as well as chat boxes for other cases and it can also use be used for to also create different agents for gaming education and entertainment now researchers can use camel to study the cooperative behaviors and capabilities of multi-agent systems and develop new techniques with their performance the open source of library makes the research a little bit more accessible and also facilitates the development of autonomous cooperative systems now there's also different demos on their website as to what they've actually been able to use the system and there's a different youtubers as well as the actual camel research team and what they've basically done with their system in this case in one of this example they've been able to design a treasure finding game which is actually quite remarkable and you can see this with how the system is able to actually process and actually initialize this game and if i if i scroll a little bit over you're able to get a better idea of the game and this is actually quite remarkable guys you're basically giving a prompt and it's able to output such an amazing thing autonomously which is absolutely amazing guys now we have another example where it takes control of the world obviously i do not know the full context of this video because i haven't seen it but you're able to do a lot of different things guys and this is something that this team as well as the resources that they've used to actually accomplish this so i highly recommend that you check this out as this is quite interesting and i'll leave all the links down in the description below 
So with their application, what they were able to actually do is make a demo which showcased the conversation between two ChatGPT agents playing roles as Python programmers and a stock trader which collaborates on developing a trading bot for the stock market. And we can see this model as to what they were trying to achieve. Oh, sorry, my back with on this, but let me just zoom in a little bit. So the idea is to develop a trading bot for the stock market. And this is what the human user inputs as a prompt. And the role assignments that you can assign to the different agents of the chat box is obviously the first agent, which is the pro Python programmer. And the second one is a stock trader. And this is something that we'll, we'll also look at throughout showing you on the Google Colab link and also something that you can play around with on their actual agent uh, chat box application on the web. So this is something that you don't even need to install and just run it through their web browser on your web browser. Sorry. Now, in this example, as we saw, they gave us an, you gave an idea. You actually give it to the application, which takes the task and it specifies the tasks. And you can see over here that it develops a trading bot with the sentiment analysis tool that can monitor social media platforms for positive or negative comments about a particular stock and execute trades based on the sentiment analysis results. Now, what this does later is that the AI user, which is the Python uh, or the AI stock trader, and it gets its response as well as it works with the other chat box, which is the AI assistant with the Python programmer. And they both collaboratively work together as chat box fully autonomously. And with cooperation, they're able to output a certain application or in basic, uh, for example, in this case, it's developing a bot. And basically we get this instruction from it that installed the necessary Python libraries for the sentiment analysis and stock trading. And you're able to get the solution as well as get this output from the actual tool bots. And this is something that I'll be showing you guys later on in the actual application that they have. Another thing I wanted to mention is that Nomic AI was actually able to provide all their data sets to Camel so that they're able to use their data sets to actually get the prompts as well as the engineering to create certain things with their application. Now moving on with the actual application. So we can see in this application that there's two certain roles you have the user roles as well as the assistant roles now in this case i'm just using the example that they give because it's way more easier so in this case they have the python programmer which is going to be using its skills to create the program as well as using the skills of the stock trader to chat box basically to actually help you do so now you can also use add different assistant roles and you can also add assistant user roles over here which can be basically have multiple different assistants to actually create your objective. Now you can give the idea over here. So in this case, we wrote develop a trading bot for the stock market, but it can be anything. It could be a website and you have a wide range of different user roles. It could be a developer, designer, consultant, coach, and like the list keeps going on. And it's something that they're going to keep on working on. You can even do something with YouTuber by creating scripts as well as different plans on growing or scaling certain app videos or channels. Now, you can even even ha you can even sorry have a word limit for task specifiers, so it's a little bit easier in giving the prompt as well as giving a little bit more less detailed to get the best output. Now we can also give it a more information as to giving the role playing session based on the original simplistic idea because obviously you're going to have an idea but you want to also have certain things that will be set to give you more instructions so that the chat box knows what to actually use as well as what to do with the actual prompt and these are basic like certain like guidelines that you can also give it and in, in more detailed and stuff that you can basically write here over here to actually help you advance to achieving your overall goal and basically you just have to click over here, make the agents chat. And once it's able to do that, you'll be able to see that the machine starts learning with the different chat boxes to create the thing. And over here, we can see that the instructions is to install necessary Python libraries. So this the solution is necessary for Python libraries for stock trading analysis. We can use the pipe package manager. Here are the libraries that you need to install. So it tells you what to do. And then secondly, these are necessary libraries for the trading bot. So then you install that and basically you're able to download historical stock data from Yahoo Finance and certain things like this you input into the actual bot and it helps you actually create 
overall bot. This is something that is absolutely amazing, amazing as it's something that they're going to continuously work upon as they've been actually actively working on writing the best things as well as releasing the best codes and data sets to get the best output for their actual system. So I just really wanted to highlight something cool like this guys because it's something that is quite remarkable in the growing basic like needs of different LLMs. Now in summary, Camel is a powerful framework that can facilitate autonomous cooperation among communicative agents, sorry about that, and it also is going to be able to generate valuable conversational data for studying and behaviors and also capabilities of different chat boxes. Its potential is right there and there's a lot of things that can be developed with this new basic large language model so i highly recommend that you check this out guys and you might be even able to use it for certain things so all the links down are in the description below you don't even need an api key to actually run this so i highly recommend that you're able to check this out and try running some different things that might actually help you out so if you guys found this video helpful guys please go like subscribe and comment down anything that you want to see in the future it would mean the world to me guys if you guys can go check out some of my other videos i'm always continuously going to keep posting different things that will benefit you guys so with that thought guys i'll see you guys next time peace out guys